you are looking at ground zero for an invasive species that has been on the move in this part of Michigan since 2017. This is a retention pond over in Novi where red swamp crayfish have been out eating and outpacing native species. But the crustacean could be close to being out of time in Novi as teams of collaborating environmentalists and scientists are gaining ground at ground zero. But the news is not good in other parts of Michigan. Paula Tutman working this story for us live this afternoon from Greystone Golf Course in Washington Township, where the red swamp crayfish has not only gotten a foothold, but the trajectory is going in the wrong direction. Paula, tell us more. Yeah, it really is. And there's some other questions. For instance, how did that crayfish get from site one to someplace like here in northern McClone County? Why are there so many in so many ponds in Livonia? Those are just some of the questions, but right now the micro focus is truly on finding these crustaceans, catching them, killing them before they become really a prevalent, perennial, and pervasive part of the Michigan landscape. Trap, count, kill. The objectives of teams from Lake St. Clair, CISMA, which is the Cooperative Invasive Species Management Area, Six Rivers Land Conservancy, the Department of Natural Resources, Clinton River Watershed Council, and at other collection sites, Friends of the Rouge River, all collaborating, pooling resources to find the invasive red swamp crayfish. To ID them, there's a few things to look for. One is they have bumps all over their body and their claws, and they're often red, but not always. The critter, abundant and desired in the South, is anything but in Michigan. Because of its size and aggressiveness, it can outdo pretty much everything in its path. They fight. They like to fight. So it's important that we do remove them because when we're trying to keep ecosystems like this alive and healthy, invasives outcompete. A nearby neighbor saw one making it across the greens, reported it, and the golf course has been a new target area for study, eradication, and concern. We see him walking across the fairways, across the greens sometimes, in the bunkers, uh, through the rough. You know, golf carts hit him, mowers hit him. They're all over the place. Last week, we alone in this pond, we caught 100. These crayfish or crawfish or crawdads dig deep burrows, which compromise ground stability. Well, you don't want a sinkhole on a golf course. Not only is it a safety hazard, but it's really hard to play out of a sinkhole. You know, we have taken a lot of heat, particularly as this story migrated south, where this crayfish is a delicacy and people are angry that they're being destroyed rather than being the guest of honor at a crawfish boil. In Michigan, it is illegal to trap them, to have them, if they are alive. The risk that comes with the public trapping them and accidentally moving them greatly outweighs the potential benefit. Today, just under 100 trapped, wrong trajectory, because fewer traps were set than last week, yet more crayfish were collected. It is concerning we're still finding them new places, and we think that a lot of these places we're finding them are in separate introductions from most likely people who got them either for the food industry or as a pet, um, a classroom pet in an aquarium, and then dumped them. But there is good news. At Ground Zero in Novi, the numbers show that by next year, it is possible the species could be eradicated. The bad news, that's not the case in northern Macomb or parts of Wayne County, at least not yet. Yeah, so it's important to talk about this because really this is where the public comes into play. And that is when you see them and you report them and they're actually identified, these teams are able to come in and start doing studies and they can start eradicating them before they really completely set up shop. And so it's really important to know what you're looking at, know what you're looking for. Michigan has eight native species. These guys are just killing them off. It's just that simple. And so if people can just dial in, pay attention to this, and not think about, oh, this is a delicacy somewhere, because it's not here, but really help these ecologists try to get rid of these things so that we can save these environments. Karen? Wow, is the public really has to step forward, definitely, and make a difference here on this one. We appreciate all your work. Thanks, Paula.